Today we're going to take a look at the Graviton Forfeit and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't mess out on anything. So today I wanted to take a look at the Graviton Forfeit in Destiny 2. The gameplay may look a little different because I just wanted to see if there was any traffic in Destiny 1 and to my surprise, there was. Actually, there was a lot of people still playing Destiny 1 which wasn't confusing. Now, the Graviton Forfeit is a returning exotic from Destiny 1 and some of its perks have changed a little bit. In Destiny 1, its main perk is Elusive Shadow which unlocks the Night Stalker subclass node Shade Step for free. In turn, this led to many different uses of the build. In Destiny 2, the Graviton Forfeit had been given an upgrade since Shade Step is now the class ability called Gambler's Dodge when it is combined with Vanishing Step which dodging makes you vanish from sight for a short time. Vanishing Step can also get its effect when you use Marksman's Dodge as well. As for Destiny 2, Graviton Forfeit's intrinsic perk reads Vanishing Shadow which increases the duration of any invisibility effects your melee recharges faster while you are invisible and then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as I have a Impact Absorption mod on mine. And this also has the Precursor Vex Chrome shader as well. Now this exotic has definitely came a good ways from Destiny 1. Cosmetically, it pretty much still looks the same and this exotic is actually good in PvE as well as PvP. Is it top tier? I would say yes due to the different situations that it can be used in. But this exotic shines the most, and I'll say it again, the most on game modes with specific modifiers like in the Nightfall or in the Crucible game mode Mayhem. Specifically with modifiers like Torrent. And Torrent allows your abilities to recharge much faster. If your abilities charge faster, then you can go invis even more and recharge your melee ability. Speaking about the Nightfall, and I will use the Pyramidian, which is the gameplay you are watching right now, as a good example of why this exotic is good. The hardest part, and I'm pretty sure many people would agree, of the Pyramidian Strike is the four Vex Confluxes. This is where a lot of your speed in the Nightfall, especially the Prestige Nightfall, gets heavily slowed down or even gets put to a screeching halt. The fastest way through this section is not grouping together and going conflux to conflux because you and your fire team will be wasting way too much time. Instead, leave it to the skilled individuals. If you have a hunter with the Graviton Forfeit, they can do all four of the confluxes by themselves and very quickly as well. The quicker you get through the confluxes, the faster you can get through the nightfall. And if you have more than one hunter, then you can split up the confluxes between you guys. Now, as of this video, it is imperative that you use the Graviton Forfeit if you want to do this section of the Nightfall or the Prestige Nightfall fast and to save a lot of time. Trying to do this area without the Graviton Forfeit will pretty much just get you killed because you won't stay in Viz long enough and you will be wasting even more time that you don't want to waste. However, in the coming months, time won't be an issue due to Bungie changing how Strikes and the Nightfall works. Instead, the Nightfall will incorporate Strike Scoring which is going to be replacing time warp modifiers. So in a sense we are kind of slowly going back towards Destiny 1 mechanics. If you guys would like to know more about the changes that are coming within the next few months then you can check out my video that I did on the development update and the annotation shown on screen or at the end of this video. In PvP, yes, there is still lag and when lag is present it is almost impossible to see an enemy that is in Viz. I know, I've gotten killed many times while a hunter was in Viz and they were standing like a foot in front of me and I never seen them. Now this is a good exotic in PvP but more so when you're getting the Graviton Forfeit's second effect off which is the faster regen on your melee while invisible. This is a little bit more useful for those wombo combos but in Mayhem, well pretty much anything goes. And if you stay in Viz for the most of the game, then you can tether, wombo combo, and get kills throughout the entire match without being seen very much. I don't know. A lot of the Night Stalker specific exotics are all situational and it depends on what you are doing or your playstyle to determine which exotic piece of armor that you want to use. 
But what do you guys think about the revised Graviton forfeit? Do you like it? Do you prefer to use a different exotic for your Night Stalker, like the Orpheus Rig, from which I will be doing a review on in the near future, or do you even use the Night Stalker subclass at all? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.